I think disruptive innovation is the key to accelerating a transition toward the circular economy. Designers, engineers and business leaders alike need to be focusing on radical changes to the way in which we create and sell products. In this project, I've been exploring how it might be possible to dramatically reduce the complexity required for the design and manufacture of electronic control devices and illustrate how disruptive innovation can completely turn our conventions of product design and manufacture on their head. Every time we touch an object, we create vibrations. These vibrations are characteristic of how and where we touch an object, and the action we perform when we touch it. My hypothesis is that by analysing these vibrations, we can create a new way to communicate and transfer information from physical interfaces to digital outputs using minimal circuitry and single-body, single-material product assemblies. The experiments conducted to prove this hypothesis all use the same technical setup that includes a medium which both the user interacts with and vibrations pass through. This rig is then connected to an external sound card which converts the analog vibratory signal into digital information which can then be read by a laptop. And running on the laptop is signal processing software which has been developed to process and understand the vibrational input. Here we see an example of one of these experiments. An aluminium plate containing six mechanical pop buttons which when pressed emit a characteristic vibration. In this example, we see each of these being pushed in turn, with the software then correctly understanding which button has been pushed and displaying the corresponding colour. A similar extension of this principle can be seen here with a 3D printed form. This principle can also be extended to show how vibrational analysis can be conducted on gestures and shapes drawn onto the surface of a metal plate. Again, the vibrations analysed by the software and correctly matched up to the shape that the computer thinks has been drawn. All of the research conducted has culminated in the development of a prototype product to illustrate the capabilities and opportunities posed by this new technology. Traditional electronics goods are comprised of button arrays which contain hundreds of different assembly components assembled from multiple materials which make recycling and disassembly difficult. Using the proposed technology, I have designed and developed a single body, single material, ultra thin keyboard that achieves the functionality of a conventional model. When the user taps the keyboard, the technical hardware and software is able to recognise the vibration and deduce what key has been pushed. So as we see in the video here, the keyboard, albeit it's a little slower than a convention model, is able to correctly understand our interactions just by using vibrations. In production, the technical hardware used in this prototyping could be reduced to a significantly smaller scale using a simple piezoelectric and microprocessor module, which could then be retrofitted to any material form. The aim and outcome of this project has not been to develop an aesthetically or functionally superior keyboard, but rather to demonstrate the benefits of this new technology and the impact it may have in accelerating a transition toward the circular economy.